What's going on everybody, Dre Guest here and welcome to something that I am extremely excited about. So I decided to check my P.O. Box last night and three of you wonderful people have sent me a nice little letter here. So we're going to do a reading your mail episode as well as I'm going to add my meow box onto it. Basically this is a monthly subscription for cat toys, cat treats and whatnot. So I figured you guys love seeing my cat so we'll do a little bit of uh, that today. We'll unbox this, see if it's any good. And uh, yeah, we'll have a good little cat montage at the end. But yes, if you don't know, I did indeed get a P.O. box for you guys to send me whatever you like. And I'm going to be doing uh, reading your mail probably every two weeks to a month, depending on obviously how much I get. Um, for, for the first time, we got three people here. So you guys are the first three wonderful people to do. So let's start off with, I guess, this one. Because it's got something inside of it. And I'm really curious. Okay, so the first letter is from Michael, and Michael has decided to send me three candy bars. I absolutely love candy. I love chocolate. So, Michael, obviously you're the best person in the world right now because you gave me candy. So, thank you for that. Okay, I'm going to try and read this. I'm very bad at reading, and I'm very bad at reading writing. So, hopefully we can do this. Hi, Dragas. My name is Michael. I am 13, and I'm oh, from St. Louis, and I wanted to write to you for a long time, but now I can. I just wanted to thank you for making me laugh when I hit the toughest time in my life. So I just wanted to say thank you for all your awesome videos and keep up the good work. Thank you, Michael, for your awesome letter. Uh, also, it says, P.S. Here's a pic of me. And also, my favorite series is Besieged, so keep it up. Also, this is my first time writing a YouTuber. Also, please put the pic on the wall so I can see that you love our drowns. So it's something about appreciating the letters. Well, I obviously do appreciate the letters, and uh, I will put your picture on the wall. I'm actually going to get a Bristol board and put all the letters I get up and all the pictures up, and it's going to go somewhere behind me when I do get that set up. So thank you, Michael. He also did do an awesome little drawing here. It looks like we got Roller Coaster Tycoon World, GTA, and Besiege with my awesome little logo in the middle. So thank you, Michael, for all of that. Um, also, I guess I'll show the picture. I don't know if I feel right doing this, but that is Michael right, uh, if it ever focuses. So there is Michael right there. Thank you, Michael, for all of your support. Thank you for being the first person that I opened the mail from. You're awesome, Michael. Okay, and the next letter has some seriously awesome cover art on it. As you can see, there's my logo in the back there. Really smart. Also, it's just my P.O. box on here, so I'm not really giving them any information regarding you. So thank you for that awesome drawing. I think I'll even keep that. Okay, and this letter says, Dregas, thank you so much for all of your fantastic videos. I love all the games you play, but I like all of your hilarious commentary. I enjoy how you also do a little face camming and your monthly unboxing videos. You make me laugh every day and help lift my spirits when I'm down. My favorite series of yours by far is Besiege, and I hope that you don't end it soon. Well, I won't, trust me. It's my most popular series, obviously, and I love doing it as well. I was wondering, how did you come up with the name Dragast? Also, what is your favorite game to play? Thank you again for always consistently posting videos, and keep up the great work. And he did a nice... Look at Look at the resemblance is uncanny. That's actually my old hat, though. Uh, but awesome drawing, man. Thank you so much. Anyways, you said, how did I come up with the name Dragast and what's my favorite game to play? Uh, I came up with the name Dragast in like 1999 when I was playing video games and just looking for an online name that really meant nothing. That way I could use it wherever I went. Dragast was that word. So kind of boring. It doesn't really mean anything, but uh, yeah, that's how that came up. And as for my favorite game, it's really hard to choose just one. I always go back to Brothers A Tale of Two Sons, though. It's a great indie game with a absolutely amazing storyline that actually made me cry and i'm willing to admit that now he also sent me i don't know if this is like a book card or what but it says out on the edge you see all kinds of things you can't see from the center kurt von gut so thank you for that so much man uh really means a lot to me and thank you for all of your support and we got the final letter here this one also has a nice little dg logo if it ever focuses my camera seriously hates me there we go. Nice little DG logo. You guys can keep feel free to send me any artwork you want. Again, it's going to be going behind me when I do get a Bristol board set up because I do want to showcase how much I appreciate you guys. This this is my favorite video to date. I uh, just reading letters is so much better than reading comments. Don't get me wrong, comments are great, but when you get something that you can hold on to and someone actually took the time to write out, it means the world to me. So let's open this up and see what they have to say. 
Okay, it says Forge Raygast. I'm assuming that's me, so I guess we'll open it up here and see what's inside. Well, I'm seeing some awesome artwork. We'll get to that later, but I do want to read the actual letter first. Hey, Dre. Just really wanted to say thank you for everything you've done. Your YouTube content is amazing, and you spend so much of your time for 400k subs. I think you deserve millions, plus everything you do is on the level of every YouTube titan out there. YouTube titan. That, 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 that is a great term. Again, I don't think anything you do is... F and you really are one of the best YouTubers out there. Phoenix Firebird FB Gaming. Well, thank you, FB Gaming. That was an absolutely awesome letter. It also says, P.S. I would love it if you do more Terratech. Uh, BMG Drive, Besiege, although you already have a routine for that, as well as more of the beta version of the new Roller Coaster Tycoon. Um, definitely, I do want to get around to it. Unfortunately, with this time of the year, it's really hard for me to go back to old series because there's so many things being released for Christmas. Um, but I'm going to be going back to probably all of those games in the near future, my friend. Now, he also drew, it looks like it's a Hirochi SBR4, and it says Forge Raids. Even got my logo on it. How cool is that? Look at that nice little card. This is from BeamNG Drive, if you do not know. So that's it for the letters, guys. Again, thank you guys so much for taking the time to send me a letter. I truly do appreciate it. It means the world to me. And if you do want to send me anything, the P.O. box will be in the description of this video. It also will pop up on the screen right now. So thank you guys again. The first three were amazing. I cannot wait for more. And now we're going to get into the kitties. This is Meow Box. Now this is, as I stated, a monthly subscription for cat toys, cat treats, and whatnot. And I figured, you know, this would be a kind of cool video to do that because you guys seem to love looking at my cats when I do vlogs. So we're going to do a quick unboxing here and see what's inside. And then we'll play with my cats. Okay, gotta give, give them props opening it up. It says Hi Thaddeus and Pixel on it. Those are my actual cat names. And it's got wrapping paper as well. So great presentation on the boxes. And it feels really personal when they add a nice little message there. So props to that. Now opening it up, we actually have a nice little goodie guide here. This kind of showcases everything in the box that's actually on the back. But I don't want to show it yet because we're going to be looking at it anyways. But it kind of explains anything in here in case your cat's allergic to anything or whatnot. So... That's cool. So first up, we got from the field, Chewy Hemp Rope. This is actually, I think, yeah, there's a rope in here, and it's like laced in catnip. This is essentially cat crack in a bag. This is awesome. Um, so yeah, my cats are going to love this. They love anything catnip. Um, they absolutely go bonkers usually. So hopefully, they'll do that today for you guys. And next up, we got an adorable little catnip duck toy. This is a, a toy filled with catnip instead of stuffing. So again... Crack for cats. I'm sure my cats will love it. Now this one's kind of weird. It's um, Perky Playful's Stimulating Cat Toy, Perky Bird. Now it's like an actual plastic bird in a bag. I'm going to open this up, but I do want to read it. If your kitty's tired of the same old catnip, which it probably will be after all that catnip, here's stimulating news. This toy is infused with a safe 100% natural powder derived from silver vine, a plant that grows in the mountainous regions of East Asia. Cats simply can't get enough of this stuff, so get ready for a meowing good time. I'm really curious about this one. I wonder if it does better than catnip. I guess we're going to find out today. And next up, we got kooky catnip. Sticking with uh, the catnip phase here, we got uh, a catnip plant kit. So yes, you can grow your own catnip with this. I guess it's got catnip seeds. I don't even know what catnip's made out of, to be honest. Well, obviously a plant, but I don't know what plant. Uh, so that's really cool, actually. I, I like that you actually have to grow your own catnip with this one, and hopefully my cats will love it. And then we got some beef liver and real cranberry Benny Bullies. My cats will love this, especially Thaddeus. Thaddeus loves any type of cat treat, so this one looks really, really good. And look at that. Even the uh, wrapping paper comes with a little feather on it, so they'll play with it. Now, I'm just going to put the box on the ground. I'm going to open up all of this and see what they do.
Okay, guys, so that wraps it up for the first episode of Reading Your Mail, as well as, of course, the first episode of a Meow Box unboxing. Let me know what you think of that, by the way. Maybe we'll add it to this every time so you guys can see a little bit of my cats. I don't know. Anyways, guys, again, my P.O. Box will be in the description of this video, as well as down below, most likely. So thanks again, guys, for all of your support. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.